Two. Hi. Hey, everybody. I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And we're, we're the, the streeters. streeters. Welcome to the RDRV channel and the live Q&A tonight. We're doing uh, uh, a lot of different things, answering your questions. And we have show and tell and we have a some and we have the answer to our what we're calling our glass segment so yeah thanks for chipping in on that guys we really appreciate it we did get our survey back and uh, everybody voted and now we know yeah. what we're calling it so. we'll check that and it's good to see everyone hi rochelle did you get your package yet um i know it takes a little while but it has been shipped and uh hi kate Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good Monday evening from South Carolina. Yeah, tonight. yeah. Um, we, If you have a question, just leave it in the comments and we'll be happy to answer. And uh, we did have a question that I haven't had a chance to answer online. And that was, someone wanted to know the best way to hang a sun catcher on a window. Well, first and foremost, that. don't use the little suction cups because they will uh, eventually they're going to turn loose and get a little bit of air behind them. And, and then your, your sun catcher is going to fall. I prefer to hang my sun catcher uh, by some fishing line and a clear thumbtack into on the top of the trim where you don't see it. And you can just put it right there and just hang it down like that. I would prefer to do that, but uh, the sun catcher, the the little suction cup, sun catcher cup is not what it's all broke up to be, is it? No, I, I like to put a real tack in the top of the window. Yeah, but and fishing line, usually and fishing heavy, line heavy fine. fishing line, you know, like yeah. 20 pound test yeah. or something like that. So Gosh, everyone's That's here. a good Hi. question, though, because, yeah. hey, you don't want to mess up. Yeah. So those suction cups aren't very reliable. We found that out. The first store that we had it was like a hallway and it had mirrors on both sides. So we had this brilliant idea. Let's make a bunch of sun catchers and then we'll suction cup them all over, over those the mirrors, mirrors all the way down that hall. Oh, sell the beautiful. fire out of them. And it did look beautiful. Um, but every day when we came in, there was another one on, another the, floor. on the floor. Another one bites the dust. So um, we learned the hard way. Yeah, those we sure did. We learned work. the hard way. That's for sure. But so, that's a good question. So now everybody, you know, if you got something hanging on your patio door on a suction cup, be careful, quick, take it off. Um, just want to say hello, hello to Rochelle, Kate, CM, um, Renee, Joyce, and Patsy Posey has a question. Um, okay. Did we paint? right on the light box or did you have a sheet of glass over the light box um i would have had i can't remember oh when i was painting i didn't have anything i just painted right on the light right, box and on top right on top of the cartoon and then oh, on the light on box, the light box yeah. yeah so there's a piece of paper under it so yeah so hey you know what that's that's two questions we're going to begin our show and tell that was a good question. That was a good question. It's a good segue. A good segue because here, look. These are finished. Yeah, we did two of them. We did two of them, and tomorrow one of the two is going in okay, the stained glass down. window. Can you see? That? Right there. Right there. Oh, kind of right there. Can you right see? Right there. Can you see that? I'm yeah. trying to get the glare you know off what? of it. You I can, can see go the green? over. I'm going to go over to the camera. Okay. And I'm going to show. We're going to show this to you really up close. Up close. Up close. Okay. So we have this really, and y'all, the, the uh, green and the purple around the collar of the bird's neck and the chartreuse colors and the white, these are all enhanced by just some beautiful painting techniques by Barbara and that, and it has texture. So in the, when there's no light behind it, you see this, okay? And this is just, y'all, I think I said it last week and these weren't even done. So we've been having fun with these. So let me show you what they look like done. Yeah. Oops, hang on. 
He's actually going hey. in the window like that. That's awesome, isn't it? It is. It ah. looks good. So anyway, that's our first part of show and tell. And, you know, we just wanted had to show you those birds because last night was the final firing. Yeah. And so today we switched gears again. And I want to share with you a, a design that, that Barbara came up with probably three or four or five years ago. And it was just an a interesting way of doing something that she saw something else was done this way. And anyway. Are you doing another show and tell right after a show and tell? No, I just wanted to okay. forewarn <laughs> you. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. give me some questions, Barb. Okay. Uh, thanks, Ray. Ray's here. Joyce is here. Uh, we missed you, Ray. Yeah, I was going to say, Ray. Um, yeah, everybody was asking about you last week and hadn't heard from you. So good Thumbs to up, see buddy. everyone Glad here. The, the gang's here. Uh, probably have some more people come up soon. Uh, yeah, we had another. Um, we had a question about putting together uh, H-Came. Uh, it was a long I read you the question about putting yeah, together and, you know, those, and uh, those H kind of came and cash questions. two different techniques. And but, you know, Barb, after you read me that question, I believe she's answered it herself. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's right. That long she, question. Uh, right. it, okay. it was just really long, long, long. And, you know, those By kind of questions of are great and we, we appreciate them. But, you know, we can also discuss those really long questions on a private chat and uh that is also available a little 15 minute chat and uh for uh 25 dollars and it's a private chat and we can discuss anything that you want about your project you can even send me pictures and i can help you any way that i can so and kate has the question um the mirror that she picked up the other day should she seal it as it's been outside so long also, if I cut it for an item, is there anything I need to do other than normal foil and solder? Well, when you're using mirror to in stained glass anything, after you cut it, you want to sand the edges. And then you want to spray the back with clear lacquer and allow it to dry completely. Then you can foil it. Then you can... Uh, solder it and then then you can work with it but you really need to spray the back of your mirror you can spray the whole thing because it's simple basically what you're doing is sealing the edge if you just want to seal the edge you can use clear fingernail polish but the spray lacquer is like Shh, goodbye let it dry fix it up and go great yeah. question yeah it was a good question mm -hmm. very good yes always protect the back of that mirror yeah, any way that you can, you know, you, you really want to. I didn't mean to poke you. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, it's Halloween. <laughs> yeah, the lights went out. And um, I feel kind of magic and Barbara's rubbing my leg. <laughs> look out. <laughs> I didn't. I, um, the, before we came on, the lights went out. They did. This, this light over here to my. Uh, right, your left flickered <laughs> and went out. It was kind of an eerie kind of thing, wasn't it? Barbara? Yeah, it was really weird. Was, yeah, I know. Ooh. Hope everybody had a great Halloween. Yeah, you know, and uh, we were kind of surprised here in our community that we they actually went trick or treating on Sunday night. Yeah, we they, were really surprised. Let them, there were quite a few did. people out last night. Of course, Barbara and I were working on yeah, the project. Last night. And speaking of projects, let's jump right into what our second segue. show and tell. Hey, so guess what? <laughs> this is the design that I was telling you about that Barbara designed while we were working. And uh, so anyway, I'd like if uh, somebody type in and tell me what, what you think this is right here. Oh, they probably went through. Have we told them what it is? No, I haven't told you what it is. Okay. But this is part of the project that we're doing for the South Carolina Aquarium. This is one of many of these shapes that we're doing. So yeah, we have four of those. So I wanted, I wanted to, you know what this is? And tomorrow we're making, we're finishing these. 
because we have to make eggs. These are bird's nests tucked up in the Blackwater Swamp in the reeds. I'm going to bring it to you a little bit closer. I'm not trying to get in your face. All right, it's got a sharp piece of glass. Let me give that to Barb. It's pretty heavy. So that's actually that that technique that we use. Isn't that color beautiful, y'all? Almost like a tortoise shell. That's the color of the Waccamaw River or the Black River Swamp. That right there, y'all, is just one of part of some of the other things that we're doing. And this is also... Going in the bottom. Going in the floating. Uh, I, I'm. This may even go under the water. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> but I know that we've got a lot of pieces to finish up, and we are in the process of finishing, wrapping, boxing, labeling, and packing the car. To Seventy-five pieces. Seventy-five request. pieces to have these things delivered to the South Carolina Aquarium, everybody, in Charleston, South Carolina, on Wednesday. Yes, so we'll be showing all that uh, making. Can we get and any more crating. excited? I don't think so. Making and crating. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited about it. Yeah, we got Phil coming in tomorrow to uh, help us out. And we heard from another. We heard from another customer uh, that is sometimes on YouTube. Christy is in Wilmington, and she's doing work for the aquarium. In so she's, in uh, North Carolina. Yeah, I can't remember which aquarium. But she's doing a beautiful stained glass window for the aquarium. So you guys, if you live near an aquarium, you know, see if they're looking for stained glass know. artist or, or glass artist. You never it, know. I thought that was kind of uh, cool. Right. That's kind of how that worked in out the for the, uh, the stained glass window of the Bald Head Island Lighthouse. How that yeah. worked out for us. We stopped over to have a drink one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was yeah. many years ago, though. Yeah. But uh, but we did end up building a replica stained glass window of the Bald Head Island Lighthouse inside the uh, lounge there on the island. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. That was awesome. So those bird's nests will have li little uh, glass eggs in them. And they'll be on the website in January, February. There won't be any on the website till after the first of the year. Yeah, we, we don't have time to put anything on the website. However... Keep in mind, November the 15th, ding, 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 the doors open on the store on ConwayGlass.com slash shop. Yeah. So the, the online store will open November 15th and we'll have our ornaments uh, online. And then don't forget, on Saturday, November the 20th is going to be our um, pop-up gallery here in the parking lot at Conway Glass. And we'll have all of our new ornaments outside uh, for sale for the holidays. And, you know, and actually we wanted to do it before Thanksgiving because we know a lot of people will be traveling this year. So, yes. Uh, Ray, yes, we'll take pictures. We'll be, I've been filming the making of it. And also I'll be taking pictures, tried to get some pictures. You know, it's hard to, <laughs> you know, you guys know how it is making stuff and taking pictures of it and then you sell it. Somehow or another, they don't coincide with each other. Making yeah, you photographs have to quick take a picture. and making work. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> yes, you have to be, have three hats. <laughs> yeah, three hats. Barbara does try to get our our work uh, photographed. Though. I try. She, does. But, she tries very hard. But it's hard. It's hard right. to find time to do things like that, but you have to do it. Uh, Ray said he was in that lighthouse. And the bald head so, island? Oh, yeah, great. so you would have seen that little stained glass window. I think it was in the bar area. It was in the bar area. Yeah, yeah, it was about three foot by four foot, three foot by four and a half foot, something. Yeah, it was funny. We had to take it there, and On we had to boat. go see it, and we had to pay our way to go see it, and I guess we had to pay our way to come back, and then we had to pay our way to go. Well, they comped our ticket with once we had the oh, stained glass window okay. on the boat. Okay. No, but after we got the job, the guy actually comped our ticket. For I couldn't us. remember. Anyway. But so here we are. We're going across. We're going across the sound there uh -huh. to Baldhead Island with a stained glass window, a uh, toolbox, some, yeah. you know, nails, molding, whatever we might have needed. <laughs> yeah, it was an experience. Three it miles, really was, you know, offshore. Like, so anyway, in the in middle of nowhere. Don't forget anything. <laughs> no, no, it's a long, it's a long boat ride back. I think 
it's what a 30 minute boat ride something right like to the island yeah. something like that it's awesome yeah, beautiful and the the uh inhabitants of the island actually own the the ferry service the boat so, so they make all the rules so they make the rules yeah. right and that boat actually will save every one of their lives one day because they'll have to be evacuated for a storm this is the perfect question go magali oh well what? we were just talking about a cutter holding a magali Hi, Ed. She says, I got a pencil cutter recently. Is there a right and wrong way to hold it? If I can get Barbara to zoom in on my hand, I will show you because. You have one in your pocket? I don't have my pencil cutter in my pocket, but I have a palm cutter. But my finger placement never changes no matter which glass cutter I'm using. And it doesn't matter if your hands are big, if you've got paws like mine or if your hands are dainty and fine, it's the same placement. I can get you a pencil cutter. Can you get me a pencil cutter? I can do that. Show them if, that cutter. If y'all don't mind, let me show you. Let me introduce yeah. you to a cool cutter. And this is, a, this is a Toyo palm cutter, okay? I think you can see that pretty well. It's got this nice fuchsia uh, reservoir in it right here. And this palm cutter, okay, I've got, I'm, I'm in. Uh, she's in, fits right here, okay? Is that good? I'm going to go right in, yep, just like that, okay? So that fits right there. But when I'm holding my glass cutter, Magali, my middle finger is on the side of my cutter head. My index finger is above it. And my thumb looks like that, okay? And so I cut. Okay. So I can't, but you'll see it. Okay, so my middle finger, my middle finger against the head of the cutter, even though it swivels, my index finger on the texture part above the cutter head and my thumb pushing downward to make this beautiful sound. And guess what? We're cutting glass. So that brings us right into our glass segment and I'm going to let Barb introduce it because I have no idea what everyone decided on what to call it. Uh, you don't know what they I don't. They so it's going to be a surprise for me. It'll be a surprise for you. But Magali again, hun, it doesn't matter which glass cutter I have in my hand and Barbara brought me this one. I still even with the pistol grip, I still have my index finger on it. Still freezing up, Magali said. Yeah. Okay. So um, anyway, I'm we might type and let them know what's going on. Yeah, we're trying to. We we got a new part and everything, and our internet people that we pay for our internet from gave us a solution. But you know what? They told us what to do with how to fix it. So $50 later, it still doesn't work. It doesn't work. And now we realize it's their equipment that doesn't work. Not so anyway, anything. they're getting a call tomorrow and they're coming out. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with us. Ed's it's going to take care equipment. of it tomorrow because Barbara is at her wit's end and we I are am, too. Yeah, it's aggravating. It's, but, it's really irritating. Y'all. Uh -huh. I swear, we're not trying to do it on purpose. Um. So... We did the poll and asked everyone uh, for a vote and we had, uh, they would only let me put the five uh, suggestions up. So I had five suggestions for the glass segment that Ed, Ed does every week. And um, I can't remember by what percentage, but the winner was glass chat. Glass chat. Yep. So that's the segment, the right. glass chat. And so you want to do So it. hi everybody. This is Ed. Welcome to glass chat. <laughs> This week in Glass Chat, we're going to be talking about 
a Toyo cutter that fits in the palm of your hand. And I just showed that to you because we were showing Magali how to hold a pencil grip cutter. This is all the same way. Some people may have to hold their cutters with their, their thumb on top of the, the back of it. But and if you have to do that, then you really should switch over to a pistol grip cutter. Okay. Because this creates leverage for you. And it doesn't necessarily fool with your wrist. All your pressure is coming right here. Okay. So we've got our cutters and there's so many of them. Go to your local stained glass store and try out a couple different cutters and see which one you like. Personally, <clears throat> I like the pencil grip cutter, the pencil head cutter. I've had one in my pocket for years. So anyway, now we're on to this week's glass segment. Glass and chat. Glass chat. Here we go. <laughs> This week's number is K123. K123. I sound like I'm calling bingo. <laughs> anyway, I want y'all to see this. Now, the technical name for this color in the catalog, other than the number, is two blues. It has a sky blue and a cobalt blue, and they're running together. And it gives you, it's, it's a lot more than two blues come through this glass, y'all. It is absolutely beautiful for sky. It's beautiful for clouds. Unlike last week's class was good for storm clouds. This is good for smiley clouds. So this is our two blues. Remember, it's a Kokomo K123. Scientific name for it. Catalog name, two blues. So, hey, this is Ed at Glass Chat. Tune in next week where we'll talk about a tool and a different type of glass. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for you, tuning you in. You added that in, a tool and a yeah, glass. Yeah, we're going to talk about a tool and some glass. Um, yeah. If, if that's I all right, Barb, do we have time? Yeah, that's fine. I would have got you more glass cutters. I would have scarfed you up a big pile of glass No, cutters. that's okay. That's okay. I really, you know what? I haven't had one of these in a long time, and I recently found it, and I really like it. Joyce said that's her favorite glass. Mine, too. Two blues. We, oh gosh. Oh, and it's two so greens. Pretty in the light. And then they make the two greens, which I, I won't bore you with, but they do they it's make two, two blues and two greens. <laughs> and it's two greens. Yeah. So and it's a that's a, a limey yellow green and a and a really Kelly green. So they're really beautiful together. So thanks for tuning in this week to Glass Chat. Ahmed. Hey everybody, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. And you know, right there above on the right hand side is that bell and we'd like you to ring that bell so that you're informed every time we come out with a new video or we have a live q a thanks again for tuning in hey we're still here i know we're not leaving we're anywhere not leaving. don't forget to subscribe going. we're not going anywhere yeah and you can find out more about what we do and what Artie is all about by going to conwayglass.com and we appreciate that yeah, we appreciate everybody going to our website at ConwayGlass.com. And, and again, believe it or not, it helps us out. You go there yeah. and look around and that just everything working together. It just really helps us out. The, yeah. Our advertisers like us and uh, they keep uh, buying ads. And, and tell your friends, you know. I don't know. I can't wait for everyone to see our store because a lot of you uh, may think that Stained glass is just the one thing that we do, but we do a lot of, we do glass and we love doing stained glass. We picked up a couple little jobs Mel's again here. today and, uh, Hey Mel, good to see you this evening. Glass evening. chat's the name of the segment, Mel. Glass chat. And Karen wants to know how big of an area to do came or lead around it. How big of an area do you need to work? Well, I would say if you're gonna if you're gonna build it and build it one time, build you a, build you a work table. That's uh, I would say minimum four foot by five foot. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna need a couple workbenches along the out exterior wall. But your physical work table should be in the middle of the room so that you can access all four sides, Karen. If you can, if you, if can, you can, at least three sides. At least three sides, yeah. But yeah, if you can't. If you can't access four, at least three. And then the two tables on the wall, one's going to be doing for doing your grinding and stuff, your wet area, and the other 
one's going to be for foiling and things like that. That's going to be your dry area. And then your, your table is your fabrication area. And then you've got a putty. Yeah, so take that outside. <laughs> yeah, take that outside so you don't have to mess, clean up the mess. That's something you can show your man how to do. Yeah, that's He'd right. probably like it, though. Yeah. Okay. So, by the way, Karen. Go ahead. Great meeting you in Denver yeah, the other day. It Thanks really for was. calling. Thanks for setting up an appointment and coming over to Conway Glass, <laughs> driving into our parking lot with smiles. And you know, it was really great to meet you. And we now have two new friends That's right. right here in the upstate of South Carolina. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Anytime you guys want to come by and say hello, just give us a call. Right. Uh, luckily, we were here. Now, later on, we're, I mean, during this week we're busy. Yeah. You know, we're out of town during the holidays. But if you know you're coming this way, give us a call and stop by. We'd be happy to, we'd be happy to uh, chat. About glass sure and will. other things. Yeah. yeah. And Meet even, you. I think we even gave Denver and uh, Karen a, 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 the, the two bit tour of the studio. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. A, yeah. Maybe when you come to visit, we'll be all organized. Have it all, all we had organized. stuff. We got, we, we got everywhere, glass right everywhere in the back right now. <laughs> it's even worse, Karen, than you, when you were here. Yeah. Cause we've had, a, we've had four days more to work and we're, you know, that's another we're 30 or 30 pieces. Now. Um, so we had a question about stretching the leg. And okay. so I, I asked Ed this question. And, of course, he had a real good answer. I had a smart answer. He did. And I'm not going to tell you all The question was, do you stretch the lead before you put the window together? Is everybody else laughing? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, actually, it's physically impossible to stretch the lead after you've already cut it and used it. So stretch yeah. your lead before you start to fa to fabricate with it. I think that's you're only going to. Yeah, you're only going to stretch it about again. One time. One time. Stretch. Four or five inches. You're done with it. Now let's fabricate your window. I think that's what the question. I meant. know. And I, I don't I don't want to be a. A smarty, smarty pants. pants because that would be I'm really glass not. with sass if you did that. That's yeah. not the name of the segment. No, that's not the name <laughs> of the segment. So it's glass glass chat. And um, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk to Phil. We might have to get some t-shirts. Yeah, we could get t-shirts. We need to do something like that, right? Glass chat. Okay, and a glass chat segment. Yeah, some like a glass chat with like Ooh. bubbles everywhere. <laughs> okay. No, I don't know. Okay, and also... I'm so happy everybody's here tonight. Yeah, I know. It's exciting, right? And uh, do you like using hobby cane for sun catchers? This was the same uh, student. Well, definitely, and this is about stretching lead. If you're going to use hobby cane on sun catchers, you definitely need to stretch the lead. And you don't want to use, you know, you don't want to make them too heavy. You want to use, like, sun catchers should be three or four pieces. And that hobby lead, that hobby cane should be all the way around the perimeter to the outside and should be attached anywhere that you can attach it. Right. And always think about where your hanger is going to go because you can't hang it directly on your hobby lead. Please stretch your hobby lead. I love using it for small things. It makes a nice neat It, it makes a nice finish on your sun catcher. Yeah. And keeps you from getting burned because I, I, you know, I do it the old fashioned way. I put the... I actually solder and tin around the whole edge of the piece. Like you did the cardinal. Like I did the cardinal, yeah. We, we've had several questions about the cardinal pattern. You can get that on the RDRV page at Conway Glass, but you have to scroll down. You know, you have to scroll way down. So those things that people are asking for that you have to scroll down for, uh, you guys go, if you want any of that stuff, go to the page and download it or copy it or whatever because some of that stuff is going to be moved to a uh, shopping page where you have to pay a dollar for it. I mean, it's not going to cost much, but we have to have a way to, you know. To kind of offset the cost of the cameras and the lights. and <laughs> To keep it, you know, to kind of keep it so that people can find it easier. So it's going to take a little more. we work. want it to be fun for everybody. Make so. it easier for you guys to find stuff. We're trying to get the website set up a little bit nicer and uh 
We just need a, a, a staff is what we need. I Maybe. have a staff. It's at the house. It's, oh, no, that's my walking stick. That's right. Update on the oak tree window. Well, the customer called and said um, that they would like us to install it in January due to the nature of their programming. And so it's no problem for us to to wait till then. But sure. in the meantime, they wanted to know if we would do a So we're doing uh, another project for exhibit them. <laughs> for them. So we're doing an exhibit at the Knights of a Thousand Candles and it will actually have the Oak Tree project uh on display sort of, you know, parts like one of the some of the bird two the of the entire birds, pattern full size pattern, pattern will be on uh, display. A video of the process. Uh, the tools it'll and be set up like a little work barbara and i are going to set up a little stained glass workshop for this display at nights of a thousand candles so so anyway that's the update uh everything's going well we'll have another video on that he's going to be we'll putting put that bird, bird in, in. Yeah, that'll be the last window um and we'll do another putty puttying video yeah. i think we have one up but we'll do another one Look for a remake of a lot of those old videos. We're doing that as we speak. We are. And don't forget, got a big, big night Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. That's all I'm saying. Tune in. What? What do you got up your sleeve? Ooh, up okay. my sleeve. What's that? Okay. Um, what is the best way to hang a jump ring? We just did that video, Magali. Yeah, what, we just did it. Watch the video from uh, a Wednesday A solder night. line to adhere to. When you don't have a solder line to oh, it. Oh, you're going to have to really. Um, go all the way around. Yeah, you're going to have to go wire all the way around, just like you would do a lamp, and then you can hang it. It's a pain, but. It's sometimes. a pain, but, uh, and sometimes when, if you're using a pattern out of a book or something, they don't think about structural integrity. They think, oh my God, that's pretty. She's talking about for a small sun catcher. You could take your chances, but uh, yeah, you're I mean, talking it, small, little like that. Two pieces of glass, maybe. Yes, maybe. I, I would. Uh, the actually, if you've got two pieces, if you've got somewhere where two pieces of glass are coming together, put the jump ring in the back behind it and attach it so that it can't come off. That's all. Okay. Right. So. You just need a you just need a where the two pieces of glass come together somewhere to hang your thing. Even change your design a little bit, Magali. Yeah, you can do it. You, you can, can figure yeah. it out. You're yeah. smart because you don't want them to bring it back. That's the thing. You don't want them to bring it back. Ray wanted to know if all the lead came is the same size. No. No, the uh, hearts. For the center of the lead are two different sizes. One's a regular and one's what they call a high heart or a number two. The high heart lead is for using definitely the high heart lead. Really just keep the high heart lead in your shop. The high heart lead is for using thicker glasses. It's also used for using textured glasses. And uh, if you don't have the high heart lead, you're going to find yourself uh, just having to stick with, you know, just your basic eighth inch window glass or colored glass and not being able to do any textures or experiment with different colors and stuff, different, but, yeah. different manufacturers. But when too. you're starting out, you'll find your favorite lead to work with. But as far yeah. as sizes, there's probably 12 of them. Yeah. Because I have used, uh, uh, on large windows, I have used three quarter inch flat H lead. Now you talk about something that sucks up some putty. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. And then then you have to reinforce that because it's not going to hold it up on its own. And we were talking about now, and and actually we use that lead on one of the weakest design windows there are, diamonds. But we reinforced it correctly, and that window is still there. Which window was that? The big window in the big house up on uh, uh, Elm Street. Mm, okay. Upstairs. Uh huh. Okay. In the in the in the uh, hall, actually in the 
Okay. In the stairwell, yeah. In okay. The stairwell. We have a question. Uh, when painting on glass, is gum arabic liquid the same as the powder when using it mm -hmm. it probably is but I, I wouldn't know how to measure how much you're using how much how much liquid gum arabic would you use you well, use very yeah. little powder to gum arabic you mix it uh when it's dry you put out your glass powder then you put a tiny snow flurries of gum arabic over the top and then you mix it together it There's doesn't very take little much. gum oh. arabic you mix that together dry and then you add your water so it's wet just like yeah it's all mixed together liquid all together yes uh-huh and and look at the we have a uh playlist that has the painting and um it's a series it should it, it should be on there i had to take one of them down one of the painting videos down because they claim that I use somebody claims that I use their song without their permission. I don't know. You know I, I got it through are. iMovie. So somebody made a mistake, but anyway, uh, I have to fix it. So no big deal. It's no big deal. I didn't mean to. It's easier just to show you <laughs> something new and do that. So we're going to redo that painting video, but right. there's three of them up there. It might answer your questions that you have about painting. Definitely the, the mixing of the paint is there, right? The the mixing of the paint is on a video. So yeah, you know how to be. mix it. It shows you just how minute of a, an amount of gum Arabic there really is to the paint. I'll look at them and see, but I know we're going to be redoing that too. Uh, K123, glass chat. Yes, that's the number for tonight, Karen. K A yeah. one two three. Two blues. Yes. And the color is two blues. So, do we have any questions? You guys got plenty of work out there. You having fun making glass? I've seen some beautiful projects. Uh, very impressed by some of the work that's uh, that. No, that yeah, you guys doing. keep sending us. You know, keep show, sending us your pictures to the RDRV. Uh, was it forward slash it's barb dot party rv okay. at gmail.com yeah so barb dot rdrv at gmail.com send us pictures of your work we'd love to see it yep and i don't know how our signal is but yeah. is we'll it? be working on it again now i can't even move okay so any are you all getting ready for your shows? A lot of shows coming up. Before the holidays. Before you may the have holidays. Some shows. Yeah. Uh, now's the time. I know Barbara and I are just we are just trying to get all of our big jobs completed and out of the way before the holidays so we can start fresh. Yep. Because we have all kinds of huge <clears throat> projects coming up. Before uh, Ed get, has his uh, hip surgery. <laughs> That's all right. We're good. Okay. Oh, Magali has a show December 5th. Oh, good. That's perfect. Right after Thanksgiving, people be shopping. That's perfect. Um, then um, AK Martinez. Uh, finished a mosaic piece using stained glass that has taken me a couple of months. Anxious to do an actual stained glass piece. Yes, that's a good transition from mosaics to stained glass. Yeah. So during the mosaics, I, I'm going to guess or imagine that you have greatly improved your cutting skills. Um, Ray wanted to know if we could show people's projects, pictures of others when they send them in. Yes, if you guys send them in, send them in and you just write on that email that you give permission for us to share. I'd be happy to share. But the uh, the thing is, um, if we share it and it's one of your original designs, I can't be responsible. Well, yeah, you can't control your copyright. Yeah. So I can't control, I mean, you can control copyright, but I can't do it, you know, I can't guarantee anything like, uh, you know, that someone will, won't copy it. So 
um, it's up to you guys. You want us to show your work? I'd be happy to. Sure. And so, yeah. Magali's birthday. Is that today? Today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, let's see. Oh, when she does. The craft show. When you do the craft show. Okay. Well, happy early birthday. Yeah. Total amateur. Okay. Well, that's all right. Somewhere you got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> Everyone's an amateur sometime. I asked a lady the other day if she was from around here, and she said, no, we're from, um, where was she from? Somewhere. And I said, well, that's all right. Everybody's got to be from somewhere. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I think she may have taken that wrong. But anyway, I hope she didn't because I didn't mean anything by it. What did you mean by that? I don't know, but I'm from somewhere. You're from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got a lot going on. We'll be finishing up our projects, one of our big projects this week, and delivering it. So. <clears throat> so we'll have some photographs of that. We'll have photographs of what it looks like prior to the event, so, which yeah, will be well, empty walls and empty. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what the dates are. So we'll have all that news when we get back and some photos to share and that kind of thing. So we can't wait to see it all together. Um, they're going to install it. We so hope they like it. <laughs> we hope they like it. We don't even know if they're going to like it. We'll let you all know when we come back. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I hope they do like it. I'm sure that they will. Okay. Um, our, our good friend down there. Is. So do we have any? Okay. So Kate Lavender says she'd like to mix and match foil tape whips because she's making Christmas tree decorations. Some of them have teensy pieces and the 732nd will drown them but worried thinner tape is weaker. Uh, you... Not necessarily. Go uh, ahead. Go what ahead. were you, you going to say? Huh? No, Go ahead. You no, you first. answer I got a, I got a little thing. Go ahead. Well, you can use different size tapes, but the, uh, the other thing is, is if you, you know, it, it's just, you just go back to your old rule of thumb. If you cover your piece of glass and tape, then take your exacto knife and cut the <laughs> tape. <off. laughs> You stole my tip. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, Get no. your exacto knife out and cut and away. Cut the tape back to where you can at least see the see piece of piece. glass. Yeah. No problem. Just you can just use seven thirty seconds and, and then cut it back. Three sixteenths, um, or five thirty five thirty second or three sixteenths copper foil is okay. Five thirty second is. Uh, not enough for eighth inch glass. If you're using right. real thin glass, it's okay. Yeah. But I would stay with the seven thirty seconds and cut it back and make it look the way you want. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, Barb. <laughs> Small. I don't get credit I for anything. I can't believe I was. I said what she was. You uh, read in my mind again. Oh uh, well, that's after you've been married for as long as we have. You. You think alike. Don't you show do them your head. The top of your head. Oh, uh, because it's wet. <laughs> oh, it's Oh, it's bald. <laughs> you know, when I was little, I was building a tree fort and I took a hammer above my head and I went to nail on a nail and I drug those two claws right down my head, peeled the meat up. And Is there's like two little rate. It looks like a little skid mark on the top of my head. That's the entire length of they my head. They don't want to see it. Okay. I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> okay. Is there a glass of blue and green that has a yellowish color in it to do water with sunshine on it? If not, how would you do it? Water with sunshine on it? Oh, yes. Very pretty. So I have a streaky colored glass here. Oh, that's pretty. Can you see that? Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see the blue down here. Anyway, the part number on this glass, W264LL, which means it's a special which means it actually does have pink in it. So the LL is going to cost you a little bit more money, but it's a beautiful glass and this is a good glass. And let's see, I don't know that I have any more. I'd have to look in my, uh, I'd have to look in my sample box, but there are quite a few glasses that are available. Oceanside or Spectrum before they became Oceanside 
used to make a really pretty turquoise yellow gold blue green color that was in their water glass and it was pretty remember that yes and they may still make it in a system 96 but i don't know but that's all they're making um all they're making oceanside makes now is system 96 i saw a beautiful uh piece of mosaic work that had the boat the reflection of the boat the reflection in the water of the boat and the person in the and boat. the sunshine. Yeah, it was and, awesome. Oh my goodness. And wow. it was, it was so beautiful and the pieces were cut long and thin, you know, like that long and thin going horizontally. So they did this. So uh, it was just fabulous. I Barbara's saw like, it look on, at this. <laughs> I saw it on the glass addicts, I believe, on um, stained glass addicts on uh, Facebook. They they have a great group and a lot of wonderful artists on Facebook and YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, if the jump ring should be, this is AK Martinez 419 asked, if the jump ring should be where two pieces join. What about when there is no seam because it's a solid piece where it hangs? I think Magali asked that earlier, but this is someone different. How big can you go before you have to worry about the foil separating? Not very big. That's Not very okay. big at all. If you're gonna if you're gonna yeah. take one piece of glass and hang it, you have to not only tin everything around it, you have to put pre-tinned wire all the way around it, and then you'll hang your jump ring on the wire. You can't just splice the wire because it's going to pull it off. You have to go all the way around. Well, and then ask yourself, how long do you want this little sun catcher to last? Yeah, how long do you before you want them to I bring mean, it back to you? Or, you know, or, yeah. the tape come off. So if you want it to last... You have gonna to take the off. time to build it to last because you put it in the, it's a sun catcher. You put it in the window and the sun does. And it heat, it expands, it contracts. And the glue melts. <laughs> and guess what? Next thing you know, it's on the floor, y'all. Yeah. That's okay. You can ask the question twice. We don't you mind. You can, yeah. That. And think about. Everybody wants to come to work for us. Think about <laughs> structural integrity. That's yeah. all. You know, you're working with a piece of tape and an entire roll of that tape only weighs as much as a three inch by five inch piece of glass. Think about what you're trying to hold up. It's a lot. Um, Ray asks, is there a glass that has a pearlescent shade to it? I think we have one right over there. A pearlescent is shade? Is that a iridescent? a iridescent glass? Ray, is it? You want an iridescent glass? Pearlescent is what he asked. I, I kind of I thought that was well, it, over make there. It, if you put it on a, if you put iridized on a white, it's pearl. Right. If is that put, what that is? If you put it on the I think there's a piece of iridized you could stack it, maybe and show it. But the answer is yes, they do. They do, right. Thought yeah. maybe we had one here that I've we could got, show you. I've got some iridized glass somewhere, but I I wouldn't have had it out unless I knew the question in advance. Oh, how do you do wire wrapping if you used hobby cane? You don't have to do wire wrapping if you if you do hobby. If cane. you do hobby cane, but eventually, eventually, the lead's going to stretch away from your piece. So, if you can solder it, yeah, if you're going to solder it piece, together, yeah, and then hang your hanger. If you're gonna, if you can do that, you need to run your hanger all the way down into the your glass piece anyway, and don't hang it from the lead because same thing, just like the other gentleman there, it's gonna stretch and come off eventually. No matter how much you stretch your lead, it's still gonna stretch because of heat expansion and contraction. Yeah, Magali, they do. They put the um, they put the jump rings where it looks good. Well, that's part of your design process. So as you're working. And as you work longer, uh, go look at those. I mean, maybe they're putting those, maybe they're putting them where they look good and they're also structurally. Right. Know, Check same. them out. Check them out. See what, see what they look like. 
And then think about it when you're designing your sun catch, because what comes out of a book isn't necessarily how you need to be doing it. You'll no. find that out. The books have tons of mistakes in them. And the author finds out, you know, a couple years later, oh, I shouldn't have told him that. What's he going to do? Can't do anything. You're Can't stuck. do anything about it anyway. <laughs> so kind of, you know, use use your imagination and figure yeah, that and out. Yeah, and just think about, just think about that. The person that's going to buy that sun catcher from you, how much they're going to enjoy it, but they can't enjoy it if it if it comes apart. It'll break yeah. their heart. But uh, yeah, you can find a solution. Just think about it. Change change your design a little bit, and uh, people will come back. And that's what you want. You want people to keep coming back. Now, iridescent on white goes what? It, iridescent on white looks pearlescent on white, but only on white. Iridescent on white goes what? That's I'm the only sure. glass that looks like pearl. Oh, is yeah. Is iridescent we on the white glass? Yeah, we were talking, we were answering Ray's question about uh, is there a pearlescent glass? And that's what. Yeah. We think of when we think of is either white or the or like if we're doing say we're doing seashells, the inside of a conch shell is like a beautiful pink iridized. Yeah, and that iridized because the glass is pink, the iridescent has orange and other colors like reds, like that in it because it's just the 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 iridescent or the chemical that's sprayed on the glass while it's hot that iridizes it. Um, and it's a chemical and it has to be put on hot and you definitely don't want to breathe it. Uh, Magali said, yes, Wismac makes it. She also said her daughter said hello and good night. <laughs> oh, oh. Give her a Tell noogie her for night. us. <laughs> Tell her good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Um, yeah, the Wismac, uh, iridized white. Wismac makes... Yeah, a really, a really mostly pretty, pretty iridescent glass. Yeah. Very pearlescent. Yeah. Yeah. And that's probably an inexpensive uh, yeah. process now is the, the spraying of the titanium oxide on it. Yeah, so. Okay. Do we have any other questions? So anyway, we had a, we had a great um, Monday night. Oh, like we had a great... I mean, a great Sunday night. We had a, we blew glass yesterday afternoon. We took Sunday night off. No, I'm sorry. You took we were, Sunday morning I off. I took Sunday morning off and got to watch one of my favorite shows, Hoarders. And that just, that show just reminds me how I never want to be. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else watches it, but I love it. We watch Hoarders on Sunday morning at seven o'clock and then we get up and clean our house. <laughs> We're like, man, oh, and then it's uh, motivation. It's and hey, and believe it or not, if you like orders, they have three new episodes on on Monday night, starting at I don't even remember nine o'clock. Oh, tonight, eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever it is. Oh, know. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're all yeah. So tomorrow, I'm gonna, you know, we did the fix that the phone company wanted us to do for our internet. Now tomorrow, because that didn't work, Ed's calling them, and I'm gonna have them come out. And get our internet fixed for everybody. I'm sorry. Mel said she watches Hoarders and then she cleans her studio. I know. It just <laughs> makes you want to just get rid of that stuff. Uh, what wattage does a glass oven normally use? Well, uh, which what? which oven? Yeah, which oven? Yeah, just put in there which oven. The one to melt glass or warm glass yeah well we have glass. yeah because we have one that uses 49 amps we have one that uses 68 amps <laughs> which we have a, a 70 amp pole on it the 49 amp we have a 60 amp pole on it or 50 amp pole and the uh, 54 amp we have a 60 amp pole so yeah. these are all our our furnace believe our furnace draws the least amount of amps and costs the most amount of money to run but it runs 24 hours a day until we're done with it. So um, did he answer? So did you tell him the answer or are you waiting for him? To I'm waiting for him to tell me what kind of, what piece of equipment it is. Okay. Cause we, Please. I, I think because of our lag in the. Um, Internet. Oh, there you go. Oh, we okay. just had a, we just had a, we just had a spurt. 
Oh, good. I just saw it's all our little thing go way up. So. Everybody watches hoarders. Yeah, it's motivating. That's awesome. It? Maybe we'll get them to sponsor the show. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to have to call Matt. Get him to sponsor <laughs> the show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're Dr. So, Fazio. Uh, to paint glass. Oh, that is going to be your basic uh, 220. And, but they do make a 110 kiln for firing glass that has a 16 inch by 16 inch by eight inch chamber. That kiln's going to cost you about $1,800. And it's 110 and it's going to draw less than 20 amps. And if you're doing a small, oh, that's the one that we have in the uh, office. That's the one that we sold to the, uh, that we oh, ordered yeah, for the girl in Oh, Yeah, that's a nice size kiln. Yeah. Yeah, that kiln. That oh, kills seventeen hundred dollars. You're just doing smaller things, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, this gave you this good. gave you a little bit of room and had um, yeah. One had a fourteen inch by fourteen inch. It had a fourteen inch round shelf that fit down inside of it, so that's pretty good size. Yeah, no, it's going to be about eighteen hundred dollars, but if you can find one that's been used, that's the way to do it. Yeah, because a lot of them aren't used. That you know, I mean. Most kilns last used is just years, years not yeah. not used because we used it a lot. Yeah, it probably <laughs> sat there five years. But uh, when do you, Patsy Posey wants to know when you use a soldering gun? You don't. You don't. Fused glass kiln. Yes, yeah, so a glass fusing kiln will also you can use for paint painting glass. Sure, and you want and it for slumping right and if you're gonna spend the money on a kiln or buy one from somebody else make sure that it is top fired it doesn't matter that it opens like a clamshell they all all the small ones do but make sure that the heating elements are in the top because that will give you even heat across your project it'll keep your paint from blistering and bubbling well, the other thing that keeps your paint from blistering and bubbling is not being in a hurry and giving it time to dry correctly. Mm -hmm. Right, Barb? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a fused glass kiln and that <clears throat> you can buy them. They'll run with one Or you can call us and, and like I said, they're about $1,800. Shipping right now is going to run you another 140 on it. But, um, you know, if uh, for $2,000, you've got a kiln that'll last you forever. Yeah, they last, oh, such a long time. They really do. Well, we have an, one annealer in the back that is uh, 18 years old. We and had one kiln that even was flooded. Underwater, completely. Underwater, completely. And we let it dry out and, you know, it worked. We put we it on low. It. We sprayed down all the elements with electrical contact spray and uh, turned it on low for... About, I don't know what a week we just let it run for after we let it dry out. Yeah, after we let it dry out. And the moisture, the heat still kept pushing the moisture out of the bottom. <laughs> but you know what? It worked. It, it worked, worked like for a another dream. several years. Yeah, yeah, it worked for another several years. So that was that was awesome. So Magali's getting a kiln. Good. Good, Magali. Like I said, just make sure that it's top fired. It doesn't have to be anything big. You will be amazed at what you can do with a small kiln. Yep. You know, yeah, you use your imagination. Have a lot of fun. It'll change your work. Yeah. Yeah, it'll definitely change your work. And now you're moving from cold thanks glass. Victor. Victor says we're awesome. Oh, thanks, Victor. That's thanks, awesome. Victor. You're awesome. You're awesome, Victor. That's right, man. Thanks for tuning in tonight. All y'all are awesome. Every one of you. <laughs> Every one of you. Mean it. <laughs> so, uh, do we have any more questions? We've been on almost an hour, you guys. Oh. Um, yeah, Magali, I bet you're excited about that. And so we have a show coming up Wednesday night. We don't know what it's exactly. We've got so, several videos in the works, so we don't know which one it's going to be yet. It may not, it may be a may live. may not be a video at all. It may be a live. It may be a sneak peek of the um something 
the uh, aquarium and update on the aquarium job. So we'll, we'll see how much time we have to produce. That's an edit. That's and it, it may be Wednesday night, y'all. Honestly, it may be that you just get to come back. And say hello. And say hello. <laughs> and we get to talk to you. So just in case, get some questions ready for Wednesday night. Yeah, if you have questions. Because we are, honestly, it's not that we wouldn't want to do it. It's just that I don't know that we're going to have the time to do it correctly. Yeah, we have. That's the thing. We it are has so to be done busy, right. y'all. But we will tune in live Wednesday night just to say hi, if that's what it takes. Because we want to say hi. Uh, Joyce wanted to know if the food dehydrator will work for drying paint before putting it in the kiln. Yeah, that and a hair dryer. A hair dryer. Anything, you know, with or leave it on the light box with the light box on. That'll dry it. Yeah, that'll dry well. it out. Yeah. Anything. yeah just make sure it's dry because let me tell you something. It'll blister. <laughs> it will. It will. It'll blister. Yeah. So you guys are doing some glass painting and. Well, that's, that's good. Exciting. That's good. Interested in the kiln. That's great. So if you have any questions about the kiln or, or yeah. painting, you know, watch our videos. And if you have any questions. Bring them to now, us. Right now, you're going to find if you're ordering a new kiln, um, like we are, 16 to 20 weeks on what we're ordering. Oh, thumbs up. And Ray. Don't, don't forgive us a <laughs> thumbs up. Ray, thanks. Make sure you mention it <laughs> Magali, to everybody. Magali said thumbs up. Good deal. So, yeah. So, uh, 16 to 20 weeks. The kiln that we're having built is only being built 212 miles from here. And we got to wait. 16 to 20 weeks. So those of you that live in the Florida or South Florida area, Jenkin Kilns is down there and you're going to find probably the same problem. It's just a matter of parts. And, but if you're going to get a new one, fine. Used ones, there's, let me tell you something, just changing an element doesn't take that long. And it's definitely not rocket scientists because y'all know Ed is not a rocket scientist. <laughs> Okay. I have a friend that's one, though. Yeah, we've had students that were rocket scientists. Yes, yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, I think we're going to let these fine people go have dinner or and go cut gonna glass. And we're going to go do something, do cut what? glass. Magali, I want to see that kiln. Can't wait. She said, next summer, hon. Next, oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, you know, it has to be, you know, you Mel have has to. Now a Jenkins. Yeah, yeah it's Jenkins great, right? awesome. And they're, they're, so, they're so easy to work with. Yeah, you only play one on TV. Huh? Uh. Magali said, you only play one on TV. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to uh, head out. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you don't have any. Oh, Mel, sixth anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Mel. They're and on you know their what? way out. Your pliers are on the way to you. Yeah, they eat. we shipped them yesterday. Yeah. So we had a lot of things to ship and we finally got everything out. Um, yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Oh, we guess what? A, wonderful a little, little thing about Barbara and I may or may not interest you. Some of you do. Some of you don't. We got our third shot today. We got our booster. Yeah, we got our booster. We're in so we and were the happy. kids are yeah. coming for Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah, so we wanted to be safe for the kids. Now. Yeah. We want to be safe for the grandchildren and uh, okay. just a little, Hey, 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 in case you're watching Dennis, you're invited too, bro. Yeah. See you here. Don't yeah. forget Thanksgiving Day dinner at the house. Yeah. So. Okay. We're gonna. Thanks head everybody out. for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks everyone, and we'll see you Wednesday night. We'll see you Wednesday night. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs>